I am gaming. I am gaming. I am gaming podcast. Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest episode of I am gaming podcast. This is a podcast about the video game industry, entrepreneurship, gaming nostalgia, and many more cool things I find to be in the same realm of business and creative ventures, including free marketing strategies. Like always, first and foremost, a huge, enormous, incredibly big thanks goes to my patron supporters who really make this podcast possible. Without you and your generous donations, I wouldn't be able to continue creating episodes and having a lot of fun by it, doing it. And your pledges keep me not just motivated, but keep me up and running. And the result is 180 episode which we're on right now and that's really really cool and awesome and this episode is all about a free marketing strategy or different free marketing strategies that always pay off for you they can only fail in the short term when you set specific goals and they don't match it or get to these but in the long run they always provide the benefit and that is a simple math we can even call it physics equation where you simply invest energy into something as opposed to not doing it. So let's take a regular example, a real life example that can demonstrate the same fact. Let's say that you have a small indie game. You're a single game dev, single developer. You created a small indie game and you're selling it on Steam for, I don't know, three bucks. And it's nothing special. You're proud of it. It showcases your abilities and knowledge and passion but it's not the best game in the world for sure. A free marketing strategy would include you simply creating a Twitter page, either for the game itself or for you as a developer and posting on it regularly. So you create a system of posts or posting that say includes three posts per week where you say, hey, Steam community, gaming community, I have this game or if you're writing from the game's perspective, then it's like, this is my game, this is me as a video game. You can get me on Steam, I offer this and this, and I think I'm good because of that and that. And you repeat it day in and day out. You can do the same on different social media, you can do it wherever you like. The point is that the same strategy uses only your effort and not your money. So you set up a system that says, hey, every three days, two days, one day, I will do this. That will take me, I don't know, five minutes. And in return, I hope to get some sales. Those sales are debatable. You're probably not going to get loads of them because, hey, it's not enough to (laughs) put out a tweet and saying, get my game and you sell 10 copies. You likely won't sell a single copy after a lot of those tweets. But that is a failure in the short term. If you'd say, for example, hey, I'm going to do this and I expect at least three sales per week, which would include three tweets per week. And you basically get one sale for one tweet in general. So you're okay if you don't get any sales for a day or two or three, but then you expect double that amount in a week or in the next week. So instead of three sales, you want to see five or six sales. That can often simply not materialize. So short term marketing strategies that are free can fail to live up to your expectations or standards of success. However, in the long term, they will provide benefits. Yes, you will get some sales. Maybe it's going to be a single sale per month or two sales every three months, but there are additional basically branding benefits that can result in awesome things. You get a social media following. People start to follow you on Twitter. That helps you with your future games. You get to some publisher who say, Hey, we have an idea how we can sell your game. Let's talk about it. You get attention from companies that want to hire you or projects that want to take you on as a freelancer. The opportunities are huge and they will materialize usually in some way that isn't clear immediately. That is the whole process and point of branding in general and as part of marketing, simply to get people to understand that there is something, in this case, your small indie game or and you as an indie developer. The result of that is going to be a benefit. Maybe small, maybe big, maybe medium. There will be sales, probably less than you want to see. But 
the point is that whatever the result is, long term result, there's going, it's going to be incredibly better than doing nothing. Because let's go back to the whole concept of energy at the start or the equation. You're investing something here in terms of energy. That same energy will be replayed or repaid, better said, in some shape or form. Not completely, not totally, but it makes a chance to become something. It's like having a lottery ticket and a small chance of winning compared to having no lottery tickets and absolutely no chance of winning. In this case, the win element is really diverse and can be loads of things, all of which are useful to you. Now, I use the example of game dev, but there are other just as good examples that show you what the effect and worth of a free marketing strategy is. You need to create it, you need to invest your effort into it, but once you set it up, it can literally be minutes per day where you have templates of posts or tweets or whatever, and you put them out and hope for the best. Immediately, ideally you get some sales, which will make you feel awesome, but even if you don't, you get that long-term benefit no matter what. The important thing is to keep going and keep having that venture. If you decide to stop being a game developer, yes, your efforts will be in vain because, hey, nothing of that will replay or repay itself in any meaningful form. Uh, the same goes if you take down your game from Steam, for example, but those are slim chances. Instead, you're likely going to continue in the same creative and business space and this free market strategy is going to provide you with a benefit. So do it, create it, and see what that benefit is in the long term, of course. That's all for this episode. It's 180, a lot of episodes. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for listening. If you'd like to support me, I sell books on Amazon. I have donation pages for PayPal, for crypto. Of course, I have my Patreon page that you can become a part of which is pretty demanding if you want to pay me every month a buck, two or five, six. But the easiest, simplest and most cost-effective way of supporting me is to subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos. Hopefully you do something of these things. And thank you again for watching or listening episode 182. Thanks a lot to my Patreon supporters. Have a great week and I'll talk to you in precisely seven days from now. Until then, bye-bye.